Coming up next on Look Today, public defender Michael McCure asks a judge to dismiss murder charges against Joshua Bennett, who is being charged with the death of one-year-old Kaylee Castle. Plus, it's a big Saturday at Saratoga Racecourse with multiple stakes races, including the Whitney. I'll get you ready for the action. And we take a closer look at the heroin epidemic in the region with Dr. Jeffrey Fuden. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone and happy Friday. I'm Jay Hood Jackson and here's a look at what's making news today in Saratoga, Warren and Washington counties. Well in our lead story, public defender Michael McCure is asking a judge to drop murder charges against his client Joshua Bennett. Now Bennett was charged with the murder of one-year-old Kaylee Castle last month along with his girlfriend and Kaylee's mother Rachel Ball. Bennett's lawyer is also asking the judge to give Bennett a separate trial. Well, Bennett's lawyer believes that there is not sufficient evidence to support murder charges. Both Bennett and Ball currently sit in Washington County Jail and are due back in court on September 18th. Now, if convicted, both face life in prison. Well, now changing from news to weather, the region continues to see comfortable temperatures and low humidity. Will the trend continue for the weekend? Well, for the latest, we're going to head to our Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Attendees of the Saratoga Race Course are in for a big day tomorrow. The card has five stakes races, including the $1.25 million Whitney. Now, besides the purse, the Whitney is usually broadcast on national television and is a win and you're in race for the Breeders' Cup Classic. Now, the Whitney contains a field of 10 horses this year, including Tonalist, VE Day, and Wicked Strong. Now, while the Whitney is the feature race, other big races include the prestigious Grade 3 Test, the Weya, the Lure, and the De La Rose. In other track news, Naira announced that they will put a cap on attendance for Travers Day this year. The cap will be set at 50,000 people, which is a bit of a surprise as the record attendance for Travers Day was 66,000 people set back in 2003. Naira set the cap in anticipation of Triple Crown winner American Pharaoh coming to Saratoga. Well, the announcement assures that the track will not set an attendance record. Well, Naira Communications Director John Durso said the decision to set the cap was not made lightly. Naira also announced that grandstand and clubhouse seats are already sold out. Well, in other news, the search is over for the owner of that drone that crash landed on Wednesday in Glens Falls. Glens Falls police found the drone on Bay Road. They posted information about it on their website and Facebook page. Well, police reviewed footage from the drone and determined there was nothing illegal on it, and they just wanted to give it back. The drone was estimated to cost over $1 thousand dollars. Well, police found the owner last night after he posted a message on Craigslist. He was flying the drone from Murray Street Park when the battery died and the quadcopter landed on Bay Road. Well, still to come, Alicia Toussaint shares her story about losing a friend to suicide and how that loss led her to create the event Love Hope Awareness. Now, this event raises money for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Across, the prevalence of heroin overdoses in the region continues to grow at an alarming rate. Many people, especially student athletes, turn to heroin after prescription pain medications become too expensive. Well, college professor Dr. Jeffrey Fuden is here to talk about pain management and the risks associated with addiction. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. 